So what we got so far? Right, well, this is how they got in. The alarm was disabled by a generic manufacturer's code at one minute to ten last night. And we've also got a partial footprint. Right, any CCTV? Not round the back, but Will's outside checking a camera on the street. Stuart. Sure. Hi. What are you doing here? Uh, investigating the burglary. Oh, yeah, of course. I was going to say your appointment's not for another week. Um, appointment? Yeah, yeah. I do Stuart's nails. Oh, you get your hands manicured. It's really not that strange. I have a lot of male clients. You should try it sometime, Mr. Hunter. Phil Hunter. And maybe I will. Stacy, I've spoken to the insurers. They should have an assessor over by lunchtime. Oh, that's great. Thanks. This is Colin. He's come to offer me some moral support. I'm going to have to shoot. Okay. See you later. Thank you. So, Stacy, do you know of anybody that would have known you were getting a delivery of stock yesterday? Well, I told some clients about the massage chairs, but they didn't know when they would be arriving. And what about Colin? Would he have known? Well, he actually helped me pay for them, so he's not going to steal them. Right. Well, anyone else who might have reason to target you, someone you're in debt to or have fallen out with? Actually, I, I have an ex-employee, Lisa Bryant. I fired her. I found out that she was planning on starting her own business and trying to poach my clients from behind my back. Yeah, we, we didn't part on good terms. All right, thanks very much. That's your help. And he'll be seeing you at the appointment for his nails. So you never actually went out with her. You uh, made that up then? Look, I'd had a couple of appointments with Stacy. I liked her. We went out on a couple of dates. They weren't that great. She met someone else. End of. But you still get her to varnish your nails. Good varnish. Listen, can we just get on with this case, please? Sarge, this is Lisa Bryant. Ah, oh, Lisa, thanks for coming in. As if I had any choice. So I'm guessing this has something to do with the break-in at the TLC nail bar. Do you know about that? One of my clients told me she drove past it this morning and saw the police outside. I believe the three thousand pounds worth of stock was taken. Oh. Poor Stacey. Well, you don't say that with much conviction, Miss Bryant. Well, she is pointing the finger, isn't she? Right, do you want to tell us where you were last night? I was in the pub, the Beckworth Arms. It was quiz night. So there were witnesses? Well, there were three of us on our team. My sister Jenny and my brother Joe. Well, I can give you their addresses so you can check it out. Yeah, well, thanks. We will. What'd she say about me, then? I tried to steal her clients. Yeah, well, it wasn't quite as simple as that, you know. I worked for Stacey for two years. Well, at first, she was like a total control freak. But the last year, she was hardly ever there. Well, just me working, well, let's just say we were losing a lot of clients. Well, I couldn't see the business lasting. Where did Stacey go? Well, she was off being wined and dined by her hotshot boyfriend, Colin. Colin. Colin Bowden. He was treating her to weekend breaks in Paris and shopping trips and all that. Oh, Stacy said it was love. I thought, yeah, you love his money. So you're saying that Stacy neglected the business because of this Colin guy? Well, I think she met him and thought, I don't need a shop no more. What does he look like? Forties, dark hair. Fairly plain looking, if you ask me. He was a nice guy, though. He, uh, he sorted my brother out with a job. Brett's Hotel. Well, I think he stays there a lot. <clears throat> well, can I go now, then? Yeah, sure. Thanks for your help. So, Stacey's business isn't doing too well. Yeah, if Lisa's telling the truth. If she is, then maybe Stacey is the burglar. This is an...